The original Lada, a Russian icon in automotive history. Or maybe not as Russian as you think. Stay tuned and you will find out what I mean by this and other interesting facts. The name Lada was actually just the export name from 1974 on and translates as sweetheart or beloved. In Russia, the Lada was first known as Vaz or Avdovaz. The original Lada was built for an extremely long time, from 1970 to 2014. The car was visually refreshed again and again during this time, but technically it remained largely the same. The production periods of the different models 2001 to 2007 even overlap very much. The last plant in Egypt also only had to close in 2014 because it burned down. If that had not happened, the car would probably still be in build today. Because the Lada Niva is also based on it and it is also still being built today. Its biggest task was to mobilize Russia. It had to, because there weren't really many cars in the Soviet Union at that time. You can see that especially in the fact that the most powerful engine with 140 HP was the most powerful engine in Russia for a long time. And it definitely managed to mobilize. In total about 17.3 million vehicles were built in 44 years. The majority remained in the Soviet Union. That's why even today in many Eastern Europe countries you really only see ladders on the streets. The ladder looks very similar to the Italian Fiat 124. However it is not a cheap copy but rather the Russian twin. Russia had a good relationship with the Italian Communist Party at the time. And in exchange for Russian steel, Russia was allowed to build a Fiat 124 under license. However, the Fiat had to be adopted to Russian conditions. Road conditions and fuel are much worse and temperatures are cooler. Accordingly, the biggest differences are in the engine, the suspension and definitely the heater. The Lada was first built in the Russian city Tolyati. But Tolyati was not called Tolyati at all until 1964, but Stavropol Vojki. Thanks to Fiat, the importance of the city grew enormously in the 60s. This was also thanks to the Italian Palmiro Tolyati. The city was renamed in his honor. Nearby is also the Shigoli Mountains, which gave the Lada the nickname Shigoli. The Lada and the Fiat 124 were very famous for one thing. Rust. Thanks to the Russian recycled steel of the time with a very high copper content. The cars were said to bloom already in the showrooms. But the Lada is very very reliable. The biggest importer of Lada outside the Soviet Union is the African state Angola. Really surprising, in the US and Italy it was not even allowed to be sold, because Fiat wanted to keep the market shares there. If you want more interesting car facts, please check out my channel. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching.